I was on benzos for 21 years. Started with Xanax, then went to Ativan, then the Clonopin. Eventually, I ended up with generic Ambien, which I know is not technically a benzo, but it's just as addictive, so it might as well be. Along the 21-year span, I also visited SSRIs like Paxil and Zoloft, which did nothing for me. I had to take a benzo pill, or two, or three on rare occasions, every night before bed in order to be able to sleep. If I had no pill, I would not sleep. If I went without a pill for a few days, not only would I be extremely tired, but I would get an extremely compressed feeling to the point where I wouldn't even be able to function. But if I took a little benzo pill similar to this one, I would sleep fine and feel great the next day with no side effects. Being hooked on a controlled substance is a real drag. You always have to go back to the doctor to get them to write you a new prescription every time your refills run out, which is usually every three months. I would spend like five minutes with each visit to the doctor. After insurance, it would cost around $180. Basically, each time I went would go something like this. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, doc. I'm doing okay. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. And what brings you into my office today? I'm here for more pills. I need you to write me another prescription again. No problem. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Thanks, Doc. Sure thing. Anything else I can help you with today? Nope. That should about do it. Great. That's delightful. That'll be $180. Pay on the way out, sucker. Anyway, let's get to why you are here. How to get off benzos. Well, there are five steps in my five-step plan. Number one, window of time. Wait for a window of time when you're not going through a lot of stress. Don't even think about trying to get off this type of medication in stressful times. Changing jobs, moving, relationship breakups, stuff like that. Wait till you have a relatively calm window in your life. Don't rush it. Even if you have to wait a few years, that's cool. Just wait till a window of time arises where your stress level is lower than normal. Number two, winter. Although it can be done in any season, winter is the best time for getting off these type of pills. It gets dark outside early. It's cold so you can snuggle up in your blankets and it's quiet. Usually there's not a whole lot of loud noises outside when it's dark and cold. No thunderstorms, loud birds, or children playing. Number three, ambience. Keep a fan on in your bedroom to drown out any other possible noises that might arise during the night. I found that the noise from a fan helps to relax my mind. Natural fans are more soothing than those cheap sound or electronic white noise machines. Also, keep your room as dark as possible. Close the door or just keep it cracked open a little bit if you don't like it closed. Number four, coffee. No coffee after 12 noon. Once you get off the pills, you could go back to having a pick-me-up cup in the afternoon. But until then, no coffee after 12 noon. Number five, wean. You have to wean off these pills. Now, I've tried weaning quite a few times in the past with no success. That is, until the last time, when I did it a little bit differently. And it worked. When you wean, don't just go down to a fourth of a pill. Go down to an eighth or even down to a sixteenth if possible. To the point that when you're breaking off a piece, it's like a sliver. So at first, Go down to a half pill for a week, then a fourth for a week, and then an eighth or even a sixteenth for two or three weeks. After you've gone down to that one eighth or one sixteenth for two or three weeks of whatever milligram amount you're on, you are ready to stop them for good. For it is at this time that your mind and body both realize they no longer need them. 
Your physical dependence is over. Your mental dependence is over. And that is how I did it. After 21 years, no more benzos, and I sleep quite well every night. Will my five-step plan work for you? I'm afraid so.